Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. I've got a really exciting video planned for you today, mostly because I'm with this little one. I haven't filmed with her in a while because, well, honestly, she gets a bit squirmy at times, but she's got her AMATV onesie on today and she is ready to rock. Today, I'm going to take you out on a vlogging style mission because, number one, I want to show you some of the sights and sounds and scenes here in Pensacola, Florida. And number two is because the video I filmed a few weeks ago called How to Film Yourself, I got a lot of positive feedback on and a lot of you really enjoyed kind of watching me just go out in the field and actually set up shots and kind of talk you through my thought process as I was gathering different shots. So I want to do that again today, but more in a vlog style video. So I'm going to be getting a lot of different exciting shots and I'm going to be talking you through how I'm getting them. This is also going to be weather permitting because as you may know, the weather here in Florida we'll jump back and forth between rain and sunshine. Ella, is it raining? Yeah, I think we need a little location change already, but just to fill you in on this shot, I've got a softbox light out here. I'm kind of addicted to these softbox lights. They're definitely not something uh, a travel vlogger would probably use because it involves you know, a lot of setup and it's a big thing to carry, but oh my gosh, they're fantastic. Just for fill-in light, um, to for beautifying skin. I'm gonna talk about my whole studio setup in a video coming soon. Okay, the weather seems to be cooperating. It's several hours later, but we are back in business. My little assistant needed an extravagant lunch and a three hour nap, and she needed her shirt laundered so she could continue to wear it for a full day. <laughs> Mom life. And I'm gonna show you the first shot that I think will be fun to get. I've done this before, I have not done it here in Pensacola. First we're gonna clean the area. The accessory I'm going to use is the GoPro brand hood suction. You don't wanna mess around when you're suctioning a, a camera onto the hood of your car. And to really activate the suctioning, there is a button that you press first. Ooh, you can feel the pressure, a lock that locks it down. So this thing isn't going anywhere. So starting from the main screen, you're gonna to wanna to hit the filming options, select time-lapse video, and because I don't really shoot time lapses very often, I'm not sure which one is going to turn out best for like road footage, but we're at 1080 every five seconds wide. Sounds good to me, let's see what we get. Are you ready to go, little darling? Yeah, she likes the uh, flip out screen on this camera. Ooh, the ultimate mom challenge would be loading your kid in the car while vlogging. Impossible. here in Pensacola Beach. I wish I could comment on what that GoPro footage looks like, but I haven't seen it yet, so I can't. And one thing that I love filming in travel vlogs, if you have the opportunity, is any sort of signage. And if it's a really elaborate, awesome sign like this, it's extra important to capture. And since I'm now using the M50 mostly for the vlogging shots, probably from here on out, I've got the kit lens on it. So it is the, the um, M mount lens, and it's the 15 45 millimeter. It's wider than the Canon lens I had on there earlier, so it's better for vlogging, and it makes the whole M50 super compact. And this is really where the camera's going to shine for vlogging. Okay, so I have to show you the famous Pensacola beach ball. So it's because it's another form of a sign. Uh, pretty cool, huh? So I would love to just like go ahead and fly the drone right now around the Pensacola beach ball, but I'm not gonna do that. But we actually did it a while back, pretty long time ago. And uh, yeah, this is the footage we got. because I don't know how the wind is on the mic out there. Um, this is fun. See, I'm sharing my actual like filmmaking thoughts as I go, which is something I, it's kind of new. So let me know if you enjoy it. I hope that teaching you to vlog as I vlog will help you become a better vlogger. And me too, I learn every time I do this too. So in this video, I just wanna give you a sense of what it feels like to be here, some of the smaller details. And I'm gonna show you just like the two main focal points like outside of any specific activities you might do here. I'm gonna show you the beach for sure. And then just like a little bit of the shopping centers because that's kind of the most eye-catching stuff is the restaurants and the shops and things like that. How you doing, baby? She's watching the show. Get the camera keys. Oh, good girl. Shopping center. Let's just pretend I'm doing something interesting here. Uh, yeah, I think I just want to insert some cinematic B-roll here so you can get a sense of it. And I think I'm gonna switch back to the 18 to 135 to get, uh, you know, 
a nice zoom on things and some nice blurry, blurry good looking stuff. down the main part of Pensacola Beach down I guess towards Navarre and this is an area where we're outside of the drone restriction so I know because we've flown here before so I think I might try to fly the drone I usually don't fly on my own you guys I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you um, when you get a drone you don't suddenly just become this confident drone pilot and I've always leaned on my husband he was an actual pilot and he loves the drone he always flies it for us and I just enjoy editing the footage but today I don't have him with me so I'm going to I think I'm gonna to try to fly it myself and this poor baby has been in the car all this time you went up, up. okay let's go and of course I've got a lot of stuff with me her stuff my stuff camera stuff oh well and that was the classic fake walk away from the camera shot why are you fussing it's okay Wanna run? Run like the wind. <laughs> Bye. You guys, that was awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited that that went well. At least I hope the footage looked okay. And that was really, like literally the first time I've ever, you know, I practice a lot flying the drone at home, but the first time I've ever not had my husband by my side, especially in windy conditions like that. That worked out well, and Ella was such a good girl. Yeah, so this is the outro. This is where we just say goodbye, and we tell you that if you would like to learn more about travel filmmaking, there's lots of other great resources on this channel. Videos where I really drill down into specific techniques, <laughs> such as slow motion, filming yourself, and the steps to making a travel vlog. And like I said, let me know if you guys like this video, if kind of walking you through my day and the shots that I'm getting, um, and just kind of giving you my thinking as I go along is helpful to you. I would love to hear about it. Also, let me know if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos here on AMA TV. I had so much fun today, guys. Did you have fun? Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.